on 4K from Blue Underground is Vigilante. Now, I didn't know too much about this. I knew enough to make me interested that it was directed by Bill Listick, uh, starring Robert Forster and Fred Williamson, and I was sold. It's a kind of death wish story. Uh, but what I, I was really kind of taken aback with a little bit was how it doesn't follow that death wish formula exactly you know it, it jumps into this movie and we have a group of friends who are already vigilantes who are already patrolling the streets we don't know what's happened to them it doesn't matter they're already into stopping uh, criminals from getting away from what they're doing and we're kind of thrown into Robert Forster's character Eddie who is just a working man He's got a wife and a kid who's just trying to uh, earn some money uh, and live a good life and his life gets turned upside down when gangbangers uh, kind of break into his house, murder his family and seem to get away from it in the eyes of the law. And you have these two stories that are, yes, linked because uh, Eddie and uh, Fred Williamson's character Nick and his gang of vigilantes do know each other and Eddie kind of knows uh, what Nick is up to. So you've got these two stories, you've got the, the vigilantes already in place trying to track down who's the head drug dealer and take them out so it's, they're not poisoning the streets and then you've got Eddie's story of the family and the justice system that seems to have failed him and allowing the criminals to continue to do what they do best. So it's got two really great stories and normally where you would follow Eddie from the start through to becoming a vigilante this has action interspersed because of Nick and his gang and when the violence come it is almost um, over the top, in your face, exploitation, heavy violence that lingers on the gunshots, lingers on the beatings, on the blood, on the effect, uh, it almost has a kind of pleasurable way of looking at that violence throughout the lens and it's kind of interesting to see that on the screen. The Eddie stories uh, really, it's, it's kind of tropey and elements, but because of Forrester uh, and because of the way he tackles the role in a kind of stoic, tailored back manner, it becomes really fun. I mean, there's a, a kind of overly dramatic moment where the people in the court um, or, or the person that committed the murder of his family kind of gets away with things and then he ends up getting sentenced to jail for 30 days for shouting in court, um, which is, is one of those things. But you don't see him have any monologues you don't see him having any kind of conversations about what happened. You just see this steely glare, this hardening of a character, and then when he's released, vengeance will be his. But I really enjoyed the Fred Williamson character as well of Nick. He has this uh, presence about himself, this glee, this uh, almost Batman-esque feeling of turning up uh, and haunting the criminals which I thought was wonderful. And then you get this tremendous photography of New York before it was gentrified. And I, that's something that I always really love. There's a great chase sequence over rooftops, through buildings that just gives a, a fantastic idea of the landscape and what's going on. There's car chases, there's car explosions, uh, beatings. Uh, there's a vicious um, setup of police officers with I don't know how many bullets get rattled into them, but it is over the top, uh, but excessively so, to hammer home a point and to be entertaining in some way. Vigilante was utterly brilliant. I really loved the characters of Eddie and Nick. I loved the situations, the sense of dread that just perpetrated the streets of uh, New York at this time where the, the gangs and the low life seem to be taking over and you get that feeling even just regular people terrified to walk their streets and the vengeance that's coming back is just people doing an eye for an eye pretty much the police can't seem to tackle everything uh, which leads to the kind of later on aspect of it uh, I kind of liked the finale of this as well the way Eddie just kind of takes uh, one step further uh, and, and bringing down the sort of uh, system a little bit on, on why things are a bit flawed. I'm trying to 
edge round it without spoiling too much about it, but I think Robert Forster gives an absolutely an amazing performance as Eddie. I really liked him as the, the family man, as the man sentenced to jail, as the steely uh, blade of vengeance later on. I think Nick and his gang of vigilantes are just badass awesomeness. So you get the drama and you get the action mixed together to create a wonderful movie. And although it is Death Wish-esque, I think it's far better than Death Wish. Probably my favourite type of movie of this so far. Vigilante, absolutely amazing. Again, blown away by the, the transfer. It looked amazing. Uh, really one of the better transfers of a 4K that I've ever seen and the sound tremendous especially when those volley of gunshots are, are sounding off you can just hear them ricocheting around the room love this movie highly recommended I'd love to know your thoughts on Vigilante let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film <laughs>